In this video, I'll be helping you with the math topic called differentiating rational and irrational numbers as seen in the OpenStax College Algebra 2nd Edition text. We're asked to determine whether each of the following numbers is rational or irrational, and if rational, whether it is a terminating or repeating decimal. Our first example here, a being the square root of 25, and while square roots that do not simplify are irrational, the square root of 25 is something that simplifies. Since 25 is a perfect square, the square root of 25 can just be written as 5. 5 is rational and terminating. For b, we have 33 over 9. And since it's written as an integer over an integer, I can tell that it is rational. And to determine whether or not it is terminating or repeating, I can plug it into a calculator. 33 divided by 9 gives me a 3.666 repeating. Notice that the calculator has the last digit as a 7, but that's only because it rounded up for the last digit that it's capable of displaying. So this would be repeating. Our next example is the square root of 11. Unlike a, this square root does not simplify since 11 is not a perfect square. So this example is irrational. For d, we have the fraction 17 over 34, and this is a fraction that reduces. We could simplify the fraction to just one half or as a decimal, 0 0.5. Being able to write it as an integer over an integer means that this example is rational, and since I can write it as 0 0.5, it is also terminating. For e, we have the decimal given here, so we can tell that it's not terminating. Our next question would be, is it repeating? And while we can see that we have what looks like a pattern, we have a single 3, and then two 3s, and then three 3s, and then four 3s, at no point are we seeing the same string of digits repeating. And since it is not a terminating decimal, and it's also not a repeating decimal, then this example must be irrational. 